Hello, everybody. Bear with me one moment while I get my chat up and running. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm just moving some stuff out of the way. Hi, Gina. Hi, Renee. Hello, everybody. I'm just sorting some things out here. Because I have a couple of ideas for tonight, and I want to make sure <clears throat> that I'm executing them properly. Hi, everybody. Oh, good, Renee. Well, I, try, I'm, I came on a little earlier tonight because... Um, I have a whole bunch of design stuff and a whole bunch of new stuff to work on. And I wanted to make sure, hi, Karen. I want to make sure that I was able to still hang out with you guys. Yes, congrats, Renee. Hello. Hi, 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 everyone. Oh, yes, I can't wait for you to try them either. Okay. So I think I figured out that that's going to work. So let me move this, move all of this out of the way here. All right, so as the title implies, we're going to do a little bit of foiling tonight because I've been dying to do some foiling because um, you guys know that that's really my first love is foiling. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just eating a little piece of candy because you know how much I adore candy. Oh, awesome. I, um, just left the menu today. I have, a truck I have not yet, Stevie, but I bet it would be incredible. All right, so I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper here. I just had a piece and then I lost it. Is my here we go because the um machine is all warmed up so we're gonna do this heart panel i think we're gonna do the lips and well we'll just play it by ear okay so we're gonna take the heart panel let me first grab so this foil has been through it as you can see but that should not hurt anything. I mean, it's going to obviously have a little bit of a different effect. But I want you to see that if your foil gets attacked by a miniature pincher, that it'll still work. Because that's what happened to this. It was attacked by a miniature pincher. So, that's where we're at. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I have my laminator over to the side. Um, I can bring it over here, I guess. It's kind of gets in the way. So let's go ahead and pop that down there. And then we will pop this into the machine. Make sure everything's all lined up. And then run that puppy through. She's always, always trying to, always trying to craft. She takes the CEO job very seriously. That is for certain. All right, so we're gonna run this guy through. I'm hoping it's hot enough. I didn't let it sit for a really long time. I'm gonna let this sit on the top here for a second because that will loosen up the foil a little bit. Hi, Tracy. All right.
So let's go ahead and I'm going to keep my hands on here because it's nice and warm and it's cold in Pittsburgh. <laughs> it is cold in Pittsburgh, so I'm going to put my hand right here and it's going to warm it up. All right, so let's see. Hopefully this was hot enough. Um, and it wasn't, so we're going to run it through one more time. It's tough because when it says that it's ready, it's not always ready. Because <laughs> it needs to really, I mean, it really needs to warm up for a while. And I turned this on right before I came on live and it's, um, it was not, wasn't hot enough yet. So I just turned it over to see if that's going to help our cause here. It is really nice and warm though. Just might not be just not hot enough yet. And I am using um, my foil through Jacko foil, which is the oh nope. Still not hot enough. Let's just run it through without the carrier sheet. We'll live on the edge today. Now of course I do not suggest doing this. <laughs> because your oil can absolutely wrap into your machine. Luckily, I've um, learned a thing or two about taking these machines, machines apart. Don't ask me how I know. But I have a feeling that that's going to fix it. Because I think that cardstock might have been a little too thick. But we are using um, my... Um, we are using my foil. This is the Red Static with my partnership with Thermoweb. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, every time. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my word, I'm hoping that the light's going to pick it up here. I can probably zoom in a little bit. Look at that. Look how stunning that is. Isn't that incredible? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. Now let's do the lips. Because we should have two panels ready. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to give this guy a little bit more oomph for when I <clears throat> send it through so I can fold it over. All right, so we're going to fold over because, again, I'm putting this through living dangerously this evening. Again, I would not suggest doing this because you can it can roll into your laminator and really mess it up but luckily I put this through about a million times so I can always tell when it's doing something wrong and I can reverse it back but it's done pretty good I just love it almost looks like it's like 3d so cool so so cool but I am going to show you the duo gel in one second as well Hi, Sue. Oh, no, Sue's here. Don't tell her that I put this through without a carrier sheet. <laughs> Do not. Shh. Don't tell me. Don't do it. Okay. So now here is the lips, which I think is probably one of my favorites. Oh, wow. There are a couple of areas that didn't foil completely, but that's because this foil was, this foil was, I mean, I used it within an inch of its life. Um, but I could rerun this through if I wanted to. But you can see, look at how beautiful that, that's still, I mean, it's still gorgeous. I missed a couple of spots, but that's just, I mean, that's my fault because I didn't put it through with the carrier sheet. And obviously it would have, um, hello, Maria. Obviously that would have, 
I mean, it would have been a lot better. But you can put it through again. So don't let that stop you. You can put it through again. Um, all right, so there's our two panels. And I'm going to now show you the duo. Now, prepare yourselves because Minnie also wanted to use the duo. So wait till you see this. So, did you like my jar of duo? Can you see this at the bottom? See the little bite marks? See the top of it? So, this is my own personal jar of duo. Luckily, it still is okay, and it's still usable. <laughs> it's still okay. Uh, she certainly did autograph it for me, um, but I want to show you how the duo works. So this is so this is a panel that's already been duo-fied, okay? And it's so cool because the duo, and I don't know if you guys know this about the duo, but it's something that's brand spanking new, and I think it's so cool. You don't have to use heat. You don't have to use heat at all. Isn't that cool? So, yes, it's non-toxic. Don't worry. She, well, Minnie chewed it about three days ago, and she's still kicking, so I can attest that it's non-toxic. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip. Um, let me, hold on one second. Let's see here. So I'm going to grab, let me, let me pop this over like this. Okay, so I'm going to... Just cut this down like that. And then I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab, I don't want this label on the back to interfere with anything. The labels are on the back of these so that I remember what, I know this is terrible, but so that I remember what color I'm using. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that just terrible that they put the labels on the back of everything so that I remember what they are? All right. So I'm going to pop this here. This is completely dry. See? Oh, yeah, it does work. Do I have any flock here? Mm. Hold on. I mean, I should have some flock here. Shouldn't I? What the flock? Hold on. Let's see here. Um, there's the new mirror paper. Oh, okay, so not, because it's completely dry. So don't use that then right now, Sue. We're going to hold on that then. All right, so let's move the... First of all, you guys literally went nuts though on this mirror stock last night. There were some of you that bought literally 10 packs of these. <laughs> so luckily we ordered a lot of it because... um. You guys almost completely sold us out last night. Thank goodness we ordered double of what we thought we should have ordered. But it's just, this prism is, I mean, it's the craziest thing ever. Now, this isn't even the full effect because in the package, it's not as, I mean, I don't think it's as beautiful in the package because the the um, plastic kind of doesn't give it everything it should have. But look at it outside of the package. It is just so cool. I love it. It's just the, the coolest stuff. So, so cool. And you guys, I mean, you went buck wild on this last night. And then, of course, we also have it in the pink. We also have it in pink and we have it in... So we have it in pink and we have it in red right now. So pink, red, and prism. And uh, since you guys were so incredibly excited about this last night, thank you, thank you very much. Um, we now will be carrying it in 16 colors. It is whistle worthy. So we will have it in, um, 16 colors. We just, I just placed the order today. Wait till you see what we're going to have for, and we're going to start doing some different packs. Oh, it's just so cool. Um, you'll see. I've been, I have lots of ideas, lots of ideas. All right. So we're going to go ahead and. Pop this down. Now, you do need some pressure. So, you do need, uh, we do need a chat soon. Sue, if you're going to be up after my live, I'll give you a call, my love. 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna pop this in because you do need some pressure. Now, I was able to do it um, by just rubbing it with my hand. So that's what this is here. I didn't apply a ton of pressure, but I just rubbed this with my hand and it worked pretty well. I mean, I just, you know, that was just testing it. But Sue told me four best results to pop it into my um, Platinum 6 or whatever die cutting machine you prefer. So I'm gonna pop this into my Platinum 6 and we're gonna roll it right on through and I'll show you what it will look like. And this is great because if you don't have a laminator, if you don't want to invest in a laminator, if you have no interest in a laminator whatsoever, um, this is a great solution for you. So let me go ahead and pop this away real quick. Uh, may need a shim. Hmm. Well, let me take a look. Let me take a peek. Oh, <laughs> okay, so now I'll tell you, it is the bravest thing in the world. Well, I don't know if it's brave on my part, but it's very, very gutsy to do this live <laughs> because there's no do-overs. <laughs> there's no, um, uh-oh, it didn't work. Let's edit that out and do a new one. So I have so much faith in ThermoWeb and Sue that I'm just going to take this off. Do you guys think I should do it? Or do you think that I do you think that I should Oh no, I don't edit anything. I mean, do you guys think that it worked? I I mean, I let's Sue's probably like Christopher. I'm going to uh, she she's she's ready. She's ready to come to get me. <laughs> she's ready. Okay, 1 2 3. Oh my goodness. You guys, okay, if this is not in your cart right now, I'm buying it all. I mean, it's, it's come, I'm literally going in tomorrow and putting it all in my car, and you're not getting any of it. <laughs> that, so now the great, the thing that I think is so incredible about this, and let me share this with you, this was actually done, I did this on the stencil, um... I want to say I did this, Sue, what time, it was probably a week ago. Um, I know, Tita, but just in case, I mean, what happens if it, what happens if I run out? What happens if Minnie eats this whole entire thing? Um, so this, I did this probably, I, I, I probably put this on a week ago. It might have been a little bit more than a week ago. And it still worked. That is incredible to me. That this work now. This ignore the man behind the curtain, which is this silver that's here. This silver is um from what I did before, but I still think that looks kind of cool. But yeah, this was actually applied um over a week ago, and it is uh we will oh we have a ton of it right now. <laughs> we have a ton. So you won't have to worry about that. But I just, I can't get over how beautiful this, I mean, that's just, it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And you can, of course, as you guys, well, as most of you guys know, you can make your own stencils. So let me show you how we can do that real quick here. So I'm going to take a piece of um, the Brutus Monroe cardstock. And I would, I'm only suggesting, well, I'm suggesting you use the Brutus Renault cardstock because it's our cardstock, but I'm also suggesting that you use the Brutus Renault cardstock because of its thickness. So if you guys have used the Brutus Renault cardstock before, especially the Not Your Mamas, now I'm not using Not Your Mamas tonight because I don't have Not Your Mamas here, but, um, oh yeah, it's much, it's so much easier. Now, I mean, if you have a laminator, you can still use the laminator. So if you're, you know, set on using the laminator all the time you can do that it's it's that's the thing that's so cool about it being a duo you can do it both ways if you want to but if you don't you don't have to and that's one thing that i really love about this new product all right so let's see here i had a piece let's see where did i, did I put it in my bag I might have put it in my bag. Hold on one second. I had a piece of just regular white. 
Oh, thank you. I mean, maybe people have other cards. I mean, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't, I mean, to each their own, but I don't really want to talk about when people have other card stuff. I can't wait for you guys to see the new colors. Ooh -wee. Okay, so here's a piece of, this is not, well, this might be Not Your Mama's. Yeah, this is Not Your Mama's, so I'm going to run this through. Um, you have a huge stock of duo as well, Miss Doherty. <laughs> so if I steal it all, then you are, uh, I guess, allowed to steal it all too. Um, so, all right, so I'm going to grab my die cut machine. Oh, yes, that's a great tip, Penny. We'll have to do that one day. Yes, we will just have to craft together. I agree. Yes. All right, so I'm going to make a stencil. And then we can do this, uh, we can we can do the big reveal tomorrow. But this duo, because there was a lot of a lot of you um, that said you didn't want to um, you didn't want to use the laminator. You just didn't have any any uh, we should have we should have a foiling party at the store. Maybe we'll set that up. Um, that you guys just had no interest in the laminator. And I get it. That's fine. If you don't want to use a laminator, I mean, I would implore you to get a laminator because of how cool, uh, how cool the things are that you can do with a laminator and, you know, with like our toner sheets and stuff. But if you have no interest in that, don't worry. Um, oh, good. Yes. Sue. See, we got Sue. Um, so don't worry, and I'm gonna put this through twice, and that's just simply because I'm using the notch room. Oh wait, it shifted. We might not be able to. Oh, I used a die release sheet. We should be fine. Oh yeah, we're more than fine. Ooh. Thank goodness for that. There will be a foil. Wait till you see the next creator and ending event, you guys. So we have um, I believe I'm pretty sure that Michael. Oh, look what I just found. Remember when we made this card? Oh my word. Now that's beautiful. Um, the creator and ending event information is going to be announced soon. And guess what? We have decided to keep it to a small, quaint group like we did before. And I'm pretty sure that I can announce this. Is Michael here? I think I can announce it. Um, it's going to be at the same place that the last one was. So it's going to make it nice and easy for everyone. But we will, of course, have very limited spots again. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop all these pieces out. I don't have one of those dye brushes. Next time you see Michael, if you guys come to the event, ask him about what happened to him in the dye brush. It was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was actually crying. I was laughing so hard. All right, let's zoom in a little bit because we're, we're making a stencil. And then you can use this later, and I'll show you how you can use this with the duo later. Um, you can use this with the duo later. Look at all these little pieces now I have to use. I know, I love this. I really love this die. Um, but I'll show you how you can use the duo later with this as well. Yeah, you got a million little shaker card elements free of charge every time you cut this out. All right, so I'm just popping out all these other little pieces. This is therapeutic to me. I know this annoys some people to have to pop all these pieces out. I love it. Um, Sue, I, I know the owner. I'm sure that I could probably just get you one out. <laughs> I could just get you one out, my friend. Listen, Sue, how about this? We'll, de we'll make a trade. I need, I'm going to need stocked up on some adhesive because I am ever, ever so running out of adhesive and I will, and I will stock you up on dyes. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's, I think that's a good deal. There we go. And then hopefully someday there will be some Brutus Monroe adhesive. Would you guys, would everyone that's here by a show of hands, would you like some Brutus Monroe adhesive if we can make that happen? Would you, would that be something you'd be interested in? I know I want some, um, some Brutus Monroe adhesive, but... I, you know, we'll, we'll ask the, we'll ask the adhesive gods if we can make that happen. But I desperately want, I think in 2020 is going to be the year for Brutus Renault adhesive. Sue said, I will get on it. Well, there we go. 
Yes, 2020 is the year. I yes, I desperately want a tape runner. Um, I've you know I've talked to you guys about that. I think that you know we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple of things um, with adhesive this year because I just think that I think it's time for us to do some adhesive. All right. So and don't worry. Whenever I I'm guaranteed that whenever the adhesive or when the adhesive does happen, and yes, and maybe a few surprises. Um, when or if the adhesive happens, my mother will have 700 rolls of it for her um, gift wrap stash because she loves using that adhesive for gift wrap. Um, the book is in, um, hopefully, the fall, Fatima. I told you we, we did some, I, oh, maybe I didn't tell you, we did some revamps, um, and you're going to see this, this year gave us two new chapters in the book. Because this year was a crazy year for Brutus Monroe, a crazy year for me, a good year. Don't get me wrong; it was a it was a really good year, a very, very exciting year. But it was it was a big, um, yes. It's called How to Tie a Tie and Other Things My Mother Taught Me, um, and I'm really excited about it because I think it's going to be a great book. I'm really really excited. So let's go ahead and, um, we're going to make this into a stencil which I think is going to be super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray the back of this with Pixie Spray. Now, the thing that you need to remember is, um, is that since this is two porous surfaces, do you remember what I taught you guys about porous surfaces and Pixie Spray? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can't wait for you to read it. I'm pretty sure that I taught you guys, but I don't know if I remember. Does anybody remember? What I told you about porous surfaces and pixie spray. Yes, if it dries completely, it will become permanent. And that's only on porous surfaces. So two porous surfaces together, if they're pushed down long enough, they will it will become permanent. Um, but if it's a non-porous surface and a porous surface, i.e. a stencil and cardstock, it will not be permanent. Does that make sense, everybody? I don't want to confuse anyone. Look at how beautiful that is right there. We could be done, but no. Alas, we're gonna do some stenciling. So I'm gonna grab some of the Duo, and I'm just gonna stencil in, and just think about all of the stencils that you have. I mean, I'm sure you guys already have tons of stencils. I mean, excuse me, not stencils, dies. Imagine all of the dies that you already have, and now you can take your, take your Not Your Mamas, take a sheet of Not Your Mamas, Although, you guys, don't be upset with me. It's sold out again. It's coming back. Don't worry. We ordered triple of it for this new order, but it is sold out again. Um, what am I, oh, what am I spreading on this, this, our new makeshift stencil? I am spreading the new Duo uh, transfer gel from Thermoweb. Okay, so now since we've been quick, we can go ahead and peel this guy off. And look at how gorgeous that is. So that's just, I mean, we're just doing some quick, quick and easy, simple backgrounds. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, I got that. The pixie spray was airborne. And I just breathed a big whiff of it in. <laughs> and that's just the aerosol. There's no, there's actually not a smell to the pixie spray. It's just because, you know, when you get aerosol in the air and it hits you. Ooh. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spread on some of, some more of the Duo. And now I'm gonna let this dry and we're gonna use this for the cards we make tomorrow. I'm really excited to show you um, how you can use the Duo with my my dear friend Opal, which is one of my favorite foils from Deco Foil. Um, yes, I love that it's not perfect either. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set this guy aside. And then why stop? Because you know I love mixed media as much as you guys do. Why stop with doing it on, um, with doing it on the, do I have all the colors out here, this pink, with doing it on the cardstock? Let's go ahead and let's do it on our doilies, right? Hello, Heather Collins. So let's do it on the doilies. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set this on here. I'm going to take just a little bit of the duo. And 
we're just going to place that right on top of there. Again, you don't need a whole lot of it because we're just doing kind of some mixed media looking stuff. I said mixed media three times and Heather Collins showed up. Do you see how that worked? And we'll just peel this off. And then look, we'll have some hearts on there as well. Isn't that cool? So we'll move that to the side. Let's go ahead and do another one here. But the really cool thing is I'm going to show you tomorrow how you can use this on... Uh, you can use this stencil after that we've just created and use it um, use it really just as a regular everyday oops hold on um, panel all right so we want it to be a little bit uneven again I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of them because I'm gonna show you how to foil all of these tomorrow so look, there's another one, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But the thing is, since, I mean, this is obviously it's very delicate, but you don't have to worry about it being super delicate because we're not putting it through the laminator. It's not going to be subjected to heat. It's going to just be subjected to pressure. And that's fine. That's not going to, I mean, pressure is not going to hurt this doily one bit. So I'm just going on this one. I'm going to go kind of all over the whole doily, even if it goes into the little cracks and crevices, because I think that'll be cool. So now we'll peel this one off. And you're not going to be able to see much on this one because it is the white. But I think that'll be really cool for us to do tomorrow. Okay. And then let's wipe off our area here real quick. I should probably get some squeaky clean, but that's okay. It's not. You should be okay. All right. And now we're going to add a little bit to this one because you can't really have too much stuff to foil. I mean, right? Are you all with me on that one? I don't think you can ever have too much to foil. Right, Maria? Me neither. I always get so excited about the foiling. Did everybody get a chance that want to pick up the, the duo? Yes, I am going to foil this stencil as well. I can't wait for you guys to see that. So I just added some more, and these will just become layering elements, okay? So now this next thing I'm going to do is really, I think, going to rock your, rock your world. Hold on, let me grab some of my craft room cleaner. A whole bunch of you guys ordered this recently. I'm so excited. I don't know. I must have talked about it or someone must have talked about it because we filled a whole bunch of orders today um, that had the craft room cleaner, which is awesome. Oh, and also I want to say a huge shout out and a huge thank you to my team. I don't know how many uh, of my team members are here. I know Heather's here. Um, the, the, the poor person, I know. Um, that um, helped me out today, but we fulfilled, now, you, you guys probably aren't going to believe this, we fulfilled over 300 orders today, which is like insane uh, for us to do in one afternoon. So we, um, we really, really worked really, really hard today. <laughs> really, really hard today to make sure that all of your orders went out. So, okay, pro tip. If your plates on your do die cut machine are well used or dirty, place inside. Uh, oh, yeah, so it doesn't make the little creases. All right, so you, do you guys see what I'm up to? Yeah, he was, he, he went through it today. Our little... Our little postal worker, he, um, we put him through the ringer. All right, so all I did, so, um, yeah, Courtney, Courtney is, I gave Courtney off, um, for the rest of the week and until next Wednesday for her wedding. So, uh, yeah, so she is, she's off. She's off to the races. <laughs> okay. I see a bit of sparkle on your finger. Uh, which finger, Don? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this right on here. Oh, go get another cup of coffee. All right, so I'm going to place this on here too. Did I get some foil on my finger maybe? Oh, my ring finger. Oh, yes. Um, this was my uh, one of my Christmas gifts from Rob. I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. Isn't it just, isn't it absolutely beautiful? You guys have to see it in, you guys have to see it in real life. It's just, it's 
absolutely spectacular. He knocked it out of the park. Yeah, he got it for me for Christmas, and I just, I had to get it fitted, so today was the first day that I actually wore it. It's very, very, I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning in real life. I mean, I'm sure it, uh, it does look pretty on the on the screen here, but yeah, that was, that was my gift. So I guess he's going to keep me around, because... It's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> so I guess he's going to stick with me. But yeah, it's it's absolutely everything that I, um, everything that I ever wanted. Um, hopefully, Kara, it's weird because it was like, we're not, it, it's like we have everything we could ever want. And the thing is, I think we're both, we're both products of divorces. So, uh, well, not products of divorces. We came before the divorce, but it's like we're, Okay, that's who that um, police officer is rude. Um, but it's uh, we're just it's like weird, like it's like we don't want to jinx it. Do you know what I mean? I know that kind of probably sounds ridiculous, but we're just so happy not needing to be married <laughs> that it's. I think that we're just so like, yeah. Well, yeah, we could definitely break the chain. I mean, I definitely would love to get married um, someday, and that that's definitely something that you know we've talked about. But it's not, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's it's something that we've talked about quite a few times, but it's, I don't know, I, I mean, it would be great, I mean, wouldn't that be one hell of a wedding? I mean, I I would, I mean, I'd have to invite all of you. <laughs> Um, oh, sorry. Yes, Amanda, it is um, right down below. If you go, if you click the link down below, you will find it there. You will find it um, uh, in the new product release. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kelly. All right, so I'm going to use, oh, not pixie spray. Yes, it would be one heck of a wedding. All right, so I'm going to use some of the craft room cleaner, which works great for this. Yes, we. I would definitely have some special Chuck Taylors. I just got a Chuck Taylor shipment in today, and it was so funny because Shane, um, he works the second shift at work now because he has different hours, and he was so funny because I was carrying, I got a, a Chuck Taylor shipment in. I know that sounds crazy, but I got a new Chuck Taylor shipment in, and he literally looked at me as I was walking out. He was like, Christopher, you have a problem. I said, how dare you? <laughs> It was so funny. He said, Christopher, you have a problem. Um, okay, so this is, um, believe it or not, this is actually a piece of ribbon that I just did the duo on. So I'm really excited about the ability to do this, and let me tell you why. So the duo, in this case, is going to sit on top of the ribbon. Um, now, I don't... Did you get foil ones yet? Um, uh, no, Sue, but I'm, I'm fixing to make some. Um, I have an idea of how I'm going to make them. Um, okay, so the Duo is different from the regular transfer gel because with the regular transfer gel, you have to use heat. Um, heat is necessary for you to be able to transfer the flock as well as the... Um, I hope he was the one to carry the last box. Oh, no, he wasn't. Um, so you have to do... You, you have to use heat uh, with the flock or with the... Uh, with the regular everyday foil, but you do not have to use heat with the uh, duo. But you can if you want to. So if you use the heat, um, or if you like using the heat, you like using a laminator, you can use the laminator um, with the duo, or you don't have to use the laminator, which I think is super cool. So you actually can just run this through. So I just did that with this piece here. And if you rewatch the video, because I only have one of these that's dry or else I would do it again for you. If you rewatch the video, I ran this through. So I put this gel on here uh, at least a week ago, at least a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, and when I put this on, I let it dry completely. Um, and it's, it's weird because it's not, it's, and I don't know how to explain it. Sue might be able to explain it, you know, better for me, but it's not like tacky tacky. So it has a little bit of stick to it. Like you can feel a, a tiny little bit of sticking to it, but it's not, um, it's not like tacky tacky. Like it wouldn't stick to your hand. Like if you press your hand down, it wouldn't stick to your hand. So it's, um, 
it's just, it's really cool. It's, I mean, don't ask me how it works. It's some sort of bibbity bobbity boop. Um, but it is just the coolest thing how it works. And I am just, I'm obsessed with how well it works. And that's why I wanted to make sure that I talked to you guys about it because we've had a lot of questions about it since it launched on the website. And it's, um, it's just so cool. It's so cool how it works. And think of the possibilities. So um, if you use, so for instance, with the ribbon, I wouldn't put the, um, I wouldn't put ribbon through the laminator. Well, let me take the back. I put ribbon through the laminator, but I don't want you to put ribbon through the laminator. <laughs> and the reason being is the ribbon, you know, you'd have to do all sorts of crazy stuff to make sure that the ribbon is going to stay okay in the laminator. You'd have to make sure that you have a shim set up or you'd have multiple layers of, uh, of cardstock. And then the multiple layers of cardstock would probably prevent the heat from um, being able to, uh, the BM chemist is Lisa and me. So I come up with a crazy idea and Lisa figures out how to make it work. <laughs> um, and I have some crazy ideas that I give to Lisa, believe you me. Um, oh, hi, Michael. So what you can do with the ribbon is since I use the ribbon in this case, so this will be able, so I use the duo on the ribbon. So you can put this through your die cut machine and you don't have to worry about it because it's just pressure. It's not heat, which I think is so cool. Then also, the second thing we applied the duo to is, let me move this out of the way because I know this is going to be a train wreck when I move my laptop later. Um, I also applied it onto these doilies. So the doilies, oh, I was, <laughs> you guys remembered. I was, Michael, I told them the next time that they see you, um, cause I was talking about using a dye brush to brush out the dye that I made this stencil with. I said, make sure the next time you see Michael, ask him about the dye brush. He has a real good story about it. Um, so the doily would also be another item that I would tell you probably, I probably wouldn't want to put this through a laminator. It's very thin. Um, it is, you know, it's very delicate, but putting it between two sheets of, um, of Plexi through the die cut machine, that's not going to hurt anything. I mean, it's going to, if anything, it's going to protect it. Um, oh yeah, Heather was there. Heather was there when it happened. It was the funniest thing ever. I, I was crying. I was laughing so hard because Michael had never used a die brush before in his defense. So I used um, the duo on this guy as well. Now think, now I want you guys to think about fabric. So think about um, like canvas. Anything that you can put through your die cut machine, you can now use Duo on. So there's a lot of things that you would probably be nervous about using heat with. Um, but if it can go through the, um, <laughs> the, oh, it just made me laugh when Michael just said that because I just thought, <laughs> I just thought about it happening live. Um, you can use it on those things now. So, <laughs> so Michael Yes, and then the die release shoots were born. Correct. Michael was using the brush. You know, like the brush that has the bristles on it for your die release. And he didn't know that, um, well, I mean, he was, let's just say he was really trying to get that paper out of the die. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> all I saw were these like black bristles flying all over the place. I was laughing so hard. Oh my goodness. It was, but I'll tell you that, um, they just don't make those dye brushes. <laughs> they don't make those dye brushes like they used to. I, I didn't know what happened. I thought, like, all I saw was millions of these little bristles going all over the place. I was like, what the heck? Um, but, yeah, think of he did strip the brush. It was, I mean, there was nothing left. It was, I mean, there was, like, if you ever wondered what the inside of one of those looked like, we found out real quick. It's just a little spring is all that's in there. Um, but, yeah, think about, like, if you have acetate. So if you have acetate that isn't heat resistant, which I mean, I know that a lot of us have acetate that's not heat resistant, um, meaning like acetate that's, uh, that is not rated to be heat resistant. Um, or if you have um, like some delicate paper that you don't necessarily wanna put through the laminar, you don't have to anymore. Because with Duo, you can now I mean, there's really, no matter, yeah, no matter how hard I scrub, um, the, 
With the duo, you don't have to worry about heat. Now all it is is pressure. And that, I think, is so incredibly cool because the pressure isn't, I mean, generally nine times out of ten, pressure is not going to hurt anything. But heat, you have to be careful with. So I just think that's super, super cool. Um, so yeah, so that's everything that I have for you guys tonight. I wanted to show you some cool foiling techniques. Um, tomorrow, we're going to jump right back into it. And I'm going to teach you how to use these things that we've just created and make some really cool cards with them. Um, we're going to use the poils. Um, Bah, oh, what did I do? The um, We're going to use the foil pieces that we created. We're also going to use, um, oh, isn't that mirror card stock? First of all, you guys. I You didn't really, oh, oh no, I just put my, hold on. I knew that this one was going to be a catastrophe because I keep putting my hand into it. Um, so the this mirror paper, you guys have pulled out all, I mean, you guys, Michael kept coming back and, and making more of it up because it comes in big giant sets and we have to make it up. But this card that I made last night with little Minnie Monroe on it, um, I just absolutely love the way that this prism, um, this prism, oh, purple. We could definitely do purple. Um, this prism looks on this die. I mean, I just... I mean, I love all of them, but Prism, I'm a little bit partial to because of how beautiful the rainbow looks. Um, I just, I think it's so pretty, but the pink and the red, of course. Um, oh, your orders are for Prism. Th perfect, Linda, thank you. Uh, so I just can't wait till you guys see the ideas that I have for this incredible Prism paper. I mean, excuse me, the mirror, mirror stock. Um, yes, uh, Karen, we will have... 16 colors well 18 technically but two of them are not considered colors and you'll see what i mean by that um but we'll have 16 colors um by by spring yes well i can't wait for you to see the we're gonna have some special ones for well i can't tell you you'll see we do have some really special ones coming and i can't wait for you guys to see next month's box. And I'm allowed to say that now because the this month's box sold out in three days, two days, three days, I think. Um, so I'm allowed to say I'm excited for the next box because I'm not jumping the gun because this one's gone. Uh, but the box for next month, I wish I could just show you guys the pin because just the pin alone makes me so happy. It's... Um, it's neither. It's not St. Patrick's or Easter. It's It's got a spring theme, I can tell you that. Yes. Absolutely, Sherry. Oh, wait. Did I answer your question? Oh, no. Did I answer your question? I hope I did. Oh, yeah. So you can use it both ways. That was your question. I had to scroll back up. You can use it without heat. And that was a big thing. That was a big thing for me is being able to use it without heat because there are many times when I'm teaching decofoil stuff and there might there's like not a plug, there's nowhere, you know, to plug in the the laminator. Um plus obviously as most of you know, um at the Create Your Own Ending event, if you were there, some of you might know, some of you might not know. Um the uh, we blew a fuse, a big fuse. Um, yes, this month's stamp is still available. Yes. Not many of them. I think there's like five of them left. Uh, the, we blew a fuse and almost took out the entire hotel. Um, and so when you have a lot of laminators going, you can, you can pop a fuse. And we had a lot, I mean, we had what? I want to say we had... 12 laminators going. Um, so yeah, so we popped the fuse, but I can tell you just, I can tell you right now, this year's, um, this year's, uh, creator and ending event is going to be bigger and better than last year's. Yes, I wonder who might show up at the Creator on Ending event. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, but it might it might bring some some goodies for everyone. Uh, but yeah, so just so you know, the uh, I don't know, Michael. When does that go? When do those go on sale? Oh, 
Okay, the codes are four, three, and one will go. Um, oh, okay. Well, the codes never expired, Donna. So shoot an email. Um, shoot an email to um, info at producernode.com, and the team will take a look at it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go ahead and um, we'll get it figured out for you. No biggie. We will we'll always get it figured out for you, my friend. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, after Valentine's Day. So, you'll want to make sure. I will make sure that I make an announcement to everyone because we only have how many spots, Michael? 30. I don't know. I don't want to say it. And I can announce right now, Trudy, there is a locals rate. Oh, 40 people. Yep, 40 people. There is no lodging required. Now, there will be a special rate for you. Um, there'll be a special rate for you if you do need lodging. Because um, I know there are some people, like I know Karen liked lodging last year. Um, and I know that Maria said that she'll be doing the lodging just because it's nice to get away. Um, even though you're still in Pittsburgh, but it's nice to like, you know, get away and hang out the whole time. Um, but yeah, lodging is not required this time. You don't have to. But we will have a block of rooms available at the hotel. And wait until you see what we have planned for you this year. Oh my goodness gracious it is she said sure did i live in bridgeville wait till you see what we have planned for you it is um whew. it's exciting um when is the event michael the event uh oh i'm terrible at this michael knows the exact dates um oh good carolyn august 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 um, the hotel is the, it's in Bridgeville. I know that. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's the Hampton Inn. Is it the Hampton Inn? Oh, this is terrible. And I'm so excited because this year is going to, oh, 14th and 16th. 14th through 16th. This year is going to be even bigger than better because we know, yeah, same place. It's going to be at the same place. Um, we were going to go bigger, but then I was like, why? Like, it was fun with the amount of people we had. I think it was perfect with the amount of people that we had. Um, so, yeah. So I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be incredible. I'm super excited. Wait until you see what we have planned for you. Uh, I can't wait until you see the goodies that you're going to get. I can't wait until you see our sponsors this year. Um, yeah, all the, okay, perfect. All the details will be revealed soon, like timing and events. It's, yes, it is longer. Um, and you'll see there is, it's longer and you'll also see there's a lot of, there's, it's different in the way the classes are done. We've made a lot of improvements. We literally took everything that you said, um, every single note that you, that you gave us and we fixed everything. Oh yes, Michael will be at Creativation. So, um, Michael, maybe you can do some lives. I never thought about that. Maybe you can do some lives in the, um in the Brutus Monroe, um, the Brutus Monroe YouTube group. Uh, would everybody like that? Maybe Michael will do one or two lives for you. A Facebook Live in that, just in the YouTube group. Would you guys like that? I think that'd be super cool. I would love it because, I mean, I'm sure I'll be definitely FaceTiming him while he's there, but um, how exciting. I'm so excited that he's, um, that he's going to CHA. Because he gets to, he'll be able to experience all the excitement and madness of CHA or Creativation or whatever it's called this year. Um, so yeah, so all right, so I'm gonna get going. Everyone that's on the website, thank you so much for your patience. Um, there's a lot of you checking out right now, so thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you for um, hanging in with us. I know that sometimes the website can lag a little bit when there's a lot of you on there. Um, Yes, yeah, he's going to get all sorts of goodies. I'm not going, Kara. I'm sitting this year out. I think it's, uh, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to steal all the fun away. So yeah, Michael will be going in my place this year. Um, but he's going because he is meeting with so many incredible vendors and manufacturers and, um, 
different makers to bring you new stuff for the inspiration boxes next year. So he is going to be meeting with uh, some incredible partners that we've started to work with, some incredible um, different and in, you know different brands and stuff. And you're going to see there's going to be we have so we have some tricks up our sleeves coming. I can't wait till you see. So all right. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I love you more than you will ever, ever, ever know. I appreciate uh, the time that you spend with me. And I can't wait to show you what these are going to look like tomorrow um, whenever we put them through the machine. I'm really excited for you to see what the ribbon is going to look like. I think that's going to be really, really cool. Um, I appreciate you. I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. I cannot wait to... Good night, Carolyn. I can't wait to... Um, make all of this stuff, uh, make all of these goodies with you. Um, I will talk to you guys very soon. The um, Stamp Club officially will ship Monday. Just so everybody knows, we have an official ship date. They will begin shipping on Monday. So we are actually going to be ahead of schedule. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that we're going to be ahead of schedule. Thank goodness. Um, so uh, you will see that um, start shipping on Monday. So thank you all so much. I will talk to you guys soon. Remember to create something every single day, whether that is a beautiful project with the new Duo Transfer Gel from Decafoil or your own ending. I will see you guys soon.